Robert Mueller isn't indicting anyone else. But we've already seen him hand off high-profile federal criminal cases to the federal prosecutors at the SDNY, and now we're learning that he's also handed off cases and evidence to six other federal prosecutorial entities. The question of course is what's going to happen to Donald Trump's family? There's actually a big clue in plain sight. SDNY handles federal criminal cases that take place in Manhattan and is a part of the Department of Justice. In contrast, New York Attorney General Tish James and New York County District Attorney Cyrus Vance Jr. handle state-level criminal cases that take place in Manhattan. James has said from the start of her tenure that she and her people would aggressively investigate and prosecute the Trump regime for its alleged crimes. Sure enough, she's already had Vance bring criminal charges against Paul Manafort. But the timing was key. Any W York state waited until the minute Paul Manafort's federal case was over, then immediately unsealed indictments against him. Waiting was a way of keeping the prosecutions clean, even though New York had clearly been sitting on those Manafort indictments the whole time. This tells us that New York State is going to indict as many members of Trump's family as it reasonably can. If the feds at the SDNY weren't planning to indict anyone in Donald Trump's family, they'd have told New York State this by now, and we'd have seen New York State move forward with whatever indictments it's going to bring. Instead New York State is still sitting and waiting. The most logical explanation is that the state is waiting for SDNY to carry out federal prosecutions of Trump's family first, just like the state waited for the feds to finish with Manafort.